hello guys so in this video we will be going to see how we can auto start and stop ec2 instances at a specific time okay so uh, the idea would be like let's say you wanted to uh, like make sure like your ec2 machine would be switch off the kind of uh, like uh, stop that night to save cost and would auto start it at day time so let's say you are in development or maybe you are in production as well and you know your users will be only available in uh, daytime only not in night time so in that case you can use this functionality okay so what I have done here is like I have created an EC2 machine uh, with name test machine so we will see the things on, on this on this EC2 machine basically okay so first of all what we are going to do we will be going to create an AWS lambda function that lambda function would be responsible for listing all the EC2 machines and then after taking actions on it either starting it or either stopping it okay so I will name it uh, EC2 start stop and I will use the uh, runtime as python then after I will going to create function so I think meanwhile it is creating I will quickly show you the code section so what I have done is like I have already written an uh, AWS lambda function code so in this if you see what I am doing is I am just creating an EC2 client first of all second I am uh, a kind of uh, fetching event for fetching action from event like what exactly we wanted to do like we wanted to start it or we wanted to stop it in the instance section if you see I am just create uh, like listing all the instances and then after just uh, like uh, making the list of all the instance IDs and then after if action is equal to start I am kind of ec2 dot start like starting instance by passing the instance IDs and if in case action is a stop I am passing all the instance to stop the instance uh, uh, by passing instance IDs kind of I am looping over it right so uh, sorry not looping over it actually I am passing all the instance IDs just in list and in if there is some different action I am just in uh, giving a user message to invalid action okay so I will copy this code here and I will again go back so it is asking for feedback let's not go there and I will going to paste it okay so after that I will uh, save it okay and then after I will going to deploy it for now what I will going to do I will just uh, like make it comment for now just for for some time being and I will just hard code this action for now let's do it stop okay and I will deploy it now if I wanted to run it I will going to test it event name let's make it test and then after invoke it test okay so I think it is getting timed out maybe there are two reasons the first one is not sure what could be the reason but the issue is like this lambda function don't have access to list the EC2 instances right so what I will do I will quickly go inside the configuration section then after inside the permissions open the, its role and then after I will just go inside this role and attach the permission to uh, kind of list all the EC2 instances right so I will attach policies I will search for EC2 so here it is the Amazon EC2 full access so for now I am giving it full access but definitely I think we should uh, kind of uh, limit this policy to up to the read level only like this lambda function would only be able to read all the uh, all the EC2 details like right not able to write or not able to maybe yeah so I think uh, this time this this uh, AWS lambda function uh, run successfully and there is no response actually but it is kind of printing the message is stopping instance and the ID of this that instance right so if I go here if you see like the instance ID is ending with F18A and we have this F18A and if I refresh it it must be in the stopping state right so this is how basically you can start and stop this EC2 instance and let's say if I have passed here start it is going to start this EC2 machine right so now what I am going to do I will just I am just removing it and then after I am just uh, uncommenting this event action right and I will deploy it and let's say now I wanted to test it so, uh, so I will do configure an event and here I will pass the action right uh, 
and here in the action value I have to pass a start I will copy this and uh, then after I will just invoke it right so I think we got an error syntax error in module lambda function dot pi okay I think I have not removed the comment I will deploy it again I will test it I think there is some issue why do why we haven't get action what I will do just to I think uh, test it I will print event here right so that uh, at least we can see like what is the exact event that we, that it is getting so we are getting okay so we are getting the older event only I think it is uh, so I think we have to use this event right I think a test configure test event edit save the event I think we have to remove this then after format it save it I will again going to test it so this is how I think the yeah, action is a start and it has started DC to instance now I can refresh it let's say it is in the pending state but after a certain time it, it would be in the starting okay so now the question comes like if we want let, let's say we wanted to kind of stop our ec2 machines all the ec2 machines at night time right so we have to run this lambda function by ourselves no that that would not be a good practice the reason being is if you missed any day it would be kind of uh, uh, like uh, you would be charged right so for that perspective we have a service that aws provide out of the box that is event bridge okay so we would be go inside the rule section uh, inside the rule section of this event bridge okay so we have here uh, i think not sure how this lambda function is created okay might be some some different i think i have done in the past so what i will do i will going to create a rule so a rule name i will again uh, make it as ec2 start or maybe let's say ec2 stop okay then after uh, I will be going to rule with an event pattern or school or a schedule. So I wanted to run a schedule basically. So now on a specific frequency. So it is kind of redirecting me to in the event with scheduler. So I will click on this. Okay. Then after it is asking for one time schedule or recurring schedule. So my schedule is recurring. I, I wanted to stop all the EC2 machines at night time. Right. So I will be going to re, re, uh, re recurring this then after it is asking for cron based or rule based so rate based is basically after uh, 10 hours or after 1 hours but i wanted to i wanted to do this at a fixed time like uh, evening 10 pm let's say in india so for that perspective we i have already written a cron expression so i will going to paste it and in that cron expression you can see like it is kind of uh, uh, like printing me the next triggers next 10 triggers basically so today is 16th march and it is going to run at 22 17 22 18 22 so basically daily at 10 10 o'clock right so this is how basically you can define this 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 uh, 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 kind of event uh, rule then after it is asking for flexible window like i if you uh, like you wanted to run it at a very fixed time or you want you you can handle this like if it if it would run uh, before 15 minutes or after 15 minutes that is fine for you for now let's keep it off flexible window then after asking for a start date and end date let's say you wanted to apply this rule after, for a next month not this month right so you can apply the end date start date basically or let's say you want to apply uh, apply this rule for today for this month only and you want like uh, uh, for the next month we have a production release so we don't want to do this so we can apply the end date and time here okay so that's this is optional but let's not use uh, this one now then after it is asking for what have what i have to do kind of event bridge rule is asking to you what i have to do at exact 10 pm right so i will i will tell him you have to invoke an aws lambda function i have to select that lambda function and inside that lambda function i will say you have to uh, like uh, uh, call this ec2 start and uh, uh, stop lambda function with this payload right so i will make it stop and uh, i think yeah and then after i will click on next it is asking for if this schedule runs successfully what i have to do so let's say you wanted to perform any action after the after this this this, this schedule runs successfully so you can do that 
after this it is asking for the retry policy so let's keep all the configurations as default and then after just create next okay create schedule so i think it is kind of verifying all the details and after that yeah so now you can see like we have this 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 lambda function sorry this this event with rule so this rule is basically going to stop the ec2 machine by calling this aws lambda function and passing the action as stop right and let's say if you wanted to create a new uh, again for starting it you can create a new schedule with name ec2 start you can keep the uh, crone expression according to you like at a specific time you wanted to uh, start the ec2 machine so this is how you can save your cost uh, uh, like application cost and this would be really benefit for you right if you have any queries or uh, feedback for me do post it on the comment section thanks that's it for this video